Welcome to Orange Beach, Alabama. When you think about Alabama, you might not think about the beaches, but this is the best beach in all of Alabama, in my opinion. There's honestly not a lot of beaches in Alabama in general. This is as far south as you can get in the state. There's also Gulf Shores, Alabama. There's Dauphine Island. But this is essentially a continuation of the Florida Panhandle. It flows right in and we are in Orange Beach, Alabama. In this video, we're gonna cover everything there is to do here. Eat, sleep, play, what it would be like to visit or live, all the fun things to do, where to eat, what to see and what to do. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Orange Beach actually gets its name because it used to be a bunch of orange groves here. Most of those froze off. Of course, it has been completely developed and become much more of a city, very touristy, so much things to do here, but that's why it's coined Orange Beach. Let's see what there is to do right now. So one of my favorite things about Orange Beach is that you also have a ton of nature and wildlife here. Even though we are on some stunning beaches, you got the Emerald Coast, you're able to get away into a different type of scenery here. There's a lot of woods. There are over 15 miles of preserved state park. You actually have the Hugh S. Banyan State Park with over seven trails, hundreds of acres of bicycling, hiking, birding, sightseeing. So just a whole different type of uh, you know environment. You get away from the beaches, which of course, who wants to leave the beach? But if you do, you wanna change the scenery, you've got the outdoor, you've got wildlife, you can go sightseeing. There's also a garden, butterfly place you can go check out. I mean, it's just a lot, a lot of outdoors, fresh air. Really cool to have both of those right here in a beach town. Even though Orange Beach can come with a bit of serenity and peace and nature and the beaches, there's also a lot of tourism here as one of the only beach places in all of Alabama. But because of that, you're gonna have a lot of amenities and extracurricular activities that you can partake in, right? You can have all the putt-putt mini golf that you want. There's beachside mini golf. You also have Adventure Island, which has indoor black light, goofy golf putt-putt course with volcanoes. There's gonna be bumper boats. There are arcades, Fat Daddy's Arcade specifically. You've got go-karts. I don't know if I said that. I mean, there's just so many things to do as far as touristy related things. You know, to get out of the sun, maybe you don't wanna be at the beach anymore. Maybe you have kids and you're just looking for other things to do. You also have the Alabama Gulf Coast Zoo, which is technically in Gulf Shores, but it's only about 20, 25 minutes away, depending on where you are. And it's a really good zoo. You can walk around, there's lions, you can feed some animals, alligators, et cetera. That's another fun thing to do. Get outdoors, see some nature, some wildlife, but you will not find a shortage of all those tourist activities right here in Orange Beach. So I just wanted to mention the location of Orange Beach. We are centrally located right in between Perdido Key, Florida and Gulf Shores, Alabama. It actually just kind of flows right in from one to another. You go from Perdido Key, Florida, right over the state line and you're here in Orange Beach. And then just a little bit further, maybe 15 minutes or so, and you're gonna be find yourself in Gulf Shores, Alabama. Now, both of those places have extra things to do, more places to eat, shopping, amenities, et cetera. So nice and centrally located. You also have a state park in Gulf Shores, more hiking and trails and birding, et cetera. And they also have a dog park on the water. But aside from those two, you also are about one hour from Pensacola, a bigger city, Pensacola, Florida. You've got a cute downtown, tons to do, much more of a community aspect and festivals and parades, et cetera. And then you're also about one hour from Mobile, Alabama, another big kind of historic city, big Mardi Gras atmosphere, et cetera. And then lastly, you're also about 45, 50 minutes to Fairhope, Alabama, which is a really cute, charming Southern town with more shopping, more restaurants. So, so much to do around you. If you get bored, easy day trip. So much to do, so much to see right here in Orange Beach. Probably one of the most famous attractions in all of Orange Beach, besides the beaches, of course, is the wharf. And this place is huge. 
You have the famous Wharf Amphitheater, where you're gonna have live concerts, famous musicians coming to play, but you also have a very touristy kind of downtown little shopping center. Uh, it's on the water, there's actually water excursions, but you have bars, you have restaurants, coffee shops, shopping, little boutique venues and local places to buy gear, souvenir stuff. You've got an arcade upstairs. You even have a Ferris wheel here as well as the AMC movie theater. So you could spend a whole day just here at the wharf. It's a pretty famous place. It's a fun place to be. There's a lot of stuff to do. And so you gotta come check out the wharf. Either jump on the Ferris wheel, grab a movie, go to a concert or get a bite to eat. There's some great local coffee here as well, but you gotta check out the wharf if you're in Orange Beach, Alabama. I'm currently at the Orange Beach Waterfront Park in sort of more of the downtown area, if you will. And this is a really nice park. It's on the bay. You have a little dock and a pier. There is a kid's playground. There's parking and some outdoors and a little bit more trails. And this just goes to show you again, kind of that nature and the parks here. They're really pretty and well kept in Orange Beach. But that's one of the things that is really nice is people are prideful that they live here. They're really proud to be residents of Orange Beach. It's somewhat of a smaller city. Uh, it's under 10,000, the actual population, but the people that live here, they are proud to live here. And it's a nice city with a sense of community. You have a couple festivals that happen annually. You've got the seafood and the car festival. You also have the Gulf Coast Arts Festival that happen every year. Um, and so the people here are just proud. You've got a really nice library, a lot of community things that you can have access to if you actually live here and there's some neighborhoods and it feels like a city when you step just a little bit of ways away from the actual Gulf Coast, the front of the beaches where the condos and things are, you get a sense of residency here and the beauty that comes in Orange Beach. Let's talk food. I wanna give you guys the lowdown on some of the best places you should eat while you're here, whether you live or you're just on vacation. Of course, there are tons of places I'm not gonna mention, but I'm just gonna give you a few of my favorites. And you have an abundance of fresh seafood. Obviously, we're on the Gulf Coast. You got seafood coming in daily, freshly caught. But a couple restaurants, you gotta check out Ziki's Marina. It's a bar and grill fresh seafood. It is on the actual water. Um, so you're going to have boats and stuff, great ambiance. And also GT's on the bay is another waterfront uh, kind of bar and grill. Maybe a little bit more affordable, but still great food. And then if you're looking for brunch or breakfast, you've got to try Brick and Spoon. Wow, it is top notch. It is kind of a Creole style French toast, pancakes, bacon, eggs, all that good stuff. Brick and Spoon. And lastly, you've got to try Voyager's Steak and Seafood Restaurant. Some of the best steak on the Gulf Coast, hands down, it's top notch. But those four places are somewhere you should try if you're a foodie. If you wanna get some good grub, local stuff, check those out, but you won't have a shortage of good food in Orange Beach. So let's talk a little bit about housing. Whether you're visiting here, you're on vacation, you're looking for an investment, a condo, or you want a single family home in a neighborhood, et cetera. You're gonna have a lot of options here. This is Baldwin County. Um, there's plenty of condos and high rises directly on the Gulf. You also have Gulf front homes. Of course, those come with a premium price, but you also can do really well with short-term vacation rentals and investment properties. If you're interested in those, feel free to shoot me a message and I'd be happy to get you some projections or show you the actual revenue and numbers, uh, as well as the cost. There are some rental restrictions as well, but there are tons of neighborhoods here. There are family-friendly, rent-restricted areas where you feel like you're a part of the community. You're also still minutes away from the beaches. Orange Beach is gonna have so much to offer. Orange Beach is a beautiful place to live, growing tremendously, and it is one of the best kept secrets, not so much a secret, in Orange Beach, in all of Alabama. I hope you enjoyed Orange Beach. My name's Levi Fortner, I'm with LPT Realty, and I run the Fortner Group right here on the Emerald Coast. We're in Alabama and in Florida. We cover everything there is to know, eat, sleep, play, and real estate right here on the Emerald Coast. So subscribe to the channel, like this video if you wanna stay up to date and have an edge over the competition. 
But also, if you need anything at all, you just have questions, you're looking for a resource here, give me a call, a text, an email, and myself and my team will give you our undivided attention in helping you obtain your goals. Until then, guys, I'll see you soon. Take care.